today, are we digitally ready? This is the question that teachers and learners are probably asking right now. With the advent of DepEd's Digital Rights Program, the Open Educational Resources, or OER, was woven together and finally realized. This project prioritizes the necessity to enhance the digital literacy skills of every teacher and learner in the country. Our OER mission is to connect the disconnected. OER is indeed an innovative initiative with a lofty aim to get disconnected schools and last my schools connected through ICT even without an internet connection. It is designed to cater to the need of these schools for interactivity, digitalization, and delivery of 21st century skills that will ensure that every learner is future ready. Join us in another training workshop and learn more about open educational resources, whose primary purpose is to provide support and assistance to learners and teachers in this rapid advancement of technology. Our goal is to build and strengthen the capabilities of public and private teachers, school heads, and supervisors by teaching you to create and design interactive, localized, and contextualized instructional materials for teaching using basic, advanced, and proficiency software and tools. Surely, this will be another exciting and engaging webinar training workshop. Together, let's all rise amidst this crisis. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, para sa guro. Sulong ito kalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello, good afternoon po sa lahat ng ating mga great and learners sa kanilang mga magulang at of course sa mga kapwa natin educators sa buong bansa, Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Isang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. At of course, uh, welcome po tayo sa ating Mathalino Day Friday. Kasama of course ang inyong tutor of Hill para dito sa Mathematics 10. And para po siguradong siguradong marami tayong matutulungan at matuturuan this afternoon, huwag po natin kalimutan i-like at i-share ang ating mga uh, DepEd pages or Facebook pages, ang DepEd Philippines, DepEd TV, DepEd EdTech Unit, at DepEd Tayo. Ganyan din po mag-subscribe tayo sa ating official YouTube channel, ang DepEd TV Official, ang Educational Technology Unit, at DepEd Philippines. At palambing na rin po, pakidama nyo na pong ilike at share ang aking personal page, ang Simply of Heal. Ganyan din po ang um, Samal National High School Annex Official at DepEd TV One Badaan Production Team. Ayan po. So, Muli po, ah, na, nandito po tayo ngayon sa ating Mathematics 10 para sa Quarter 3, Week 4. At bago ang lahat, batiin lang po natin ng good afternoon sila Sally Kalimag, watching from Bankero Integrated School, Reina Mercedes District. Ganyan din kila Florante Taguba, watching from Ag Agadanan National High School, SDO Isabela, at si Len Casilag, at syempre po si, uh, si Sir Mark Edward. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat Sir Mark Edwards sa patuloy na pagtuto at sa patuloy na pag-share ng DepEd Online Tutorial. Oh, very good si Sir, Sir Mark Edward. And watching from Tacloban City rin, City Knight High School, si Maria Wilma uh, Pulga. 
And good afternoon kay Mary Celeste Paragas Barilio. Ayan. So magsimula na po tayo ng ating discussion this afternoon. So katulad ng aking paliwanag, tayo po ay nasa Math 10, Quarter 3, Week 4, at ang topic po natin ay tungkol sa combinations. So pinag-aralan natin noong nakaraang linggo ang tungkol sa permutations at solving, involved, uh, solving word problems involving permutations. Mag-review lang tayo. At bago ang lahat, pasalamatan lamang natin ang ating ginagamit ng module this afternoon para sa Math 10, ang school's division office of Bataan at ito ang kanilang mga junior high school module development team. Ayan. So ipa-flash lang natin sa screen para naman ma-recognize natin at papasalamatan din natin ang mga hinihiram nating gamit. Ay, ang mga hinihiram nating module, I mean, mahirap gamit. Okay, so good afternoon din si um, Osina Julian A. Rizal High School, 11 STEM Diamond. Magandang hapon. Okay, so let us start. So we need to illustrate our combination of objects and uh, week 4 ito, ah, sorry, hindi ko na napalitan yung week 1, and, and solve problems involving combinations. So sabi natin, what is a permutation? Let's have a review. A permutation refers to the different possible arrangement of a set of objects where order matters. That there are different ways in which a collection of items can be arranged. So last week, pinag-aralan natin tungkol sa permutation at napag-aralan natin yung tungkol sa pag-arrange ng mga different um, objects natin in a certain order. So merong sinusunod na sequence or order kapag sinabi natin permutation. And of course, uh, good afternoon, Lord Delita Male, magandang hapon. Tapos po, let us recall that we have three types of permutation. The standard permutation or the standard rule of permutation. We also have the circular permutation and the distinguishable permutation. So now, the standard rule of permutation um, denoted by the formula permutation of n taken r is equal to n factorial divided by the quantity n minus r factorial wherein n should not be um, wherein n should be greater than or equal to r so hindi pwedeng mas mababa yung n sa r natin kasi di ba we are taking off from from n eh. so dapat laging n yung mas mataas natin kaysa sa r so pag ganun ang given ibig sabihin baka mali yung uh, pagkaka-arrange natin ng mga numbers na, na nasa given situation natin. Yes, good afternoon from uh, Arabella Team Team Tipolo Mandawe City. Magandang hapon. Okay, let us continue. For the circular permutation, our um, equation will be permutation is equal to the quantity n minus 1 factorial. So, nagre-recall lang tayo. Ha? And for the distinguishable permutation, our formula is equal to permutation is equal to n factorial over P factorial times Q factorial times R factorial. Tatandaan nyo ba yung distinguishable permutation? Ito yung order kung saan naman na merong mga magkakaparehas. For example, permutation of um, Mississippi, may mga magkakaparehas na letters dun sa certain word. And for that, um, kinukuha na natin or pinagsasama-sama na natin yung magkakaparehas na yun. Uh, and then we denote that as P, Q, and R. Good afternoon then, Jedwin Garcia. Okay, so let us continue. In a combination naman, for our new topic for this afternoon, remember if there is a set S with an N elements, and if R is a non-negative integer less than or equal to N, then each set of S containing R distinct elements is called a combination of S. The number of combinations of N objects taken R at a time is denoted by combination of N taken R or NCR or combination of N taken R or CN to R. So that is the same um, connotation ng po yan, ha? magkakaparehas lang ang pagkakabasa dyan. That is combination of N taken R. Now let us have an example. I will uh, show you the module that we are using right now. So let us have this example on this given. Now let us derive the formula for the combination. Sabi, how do we feel the number or how do we find the number of combinations N objects taken R at a time? So suppose that... Um, let us try to um, maximize pa yung ating isum natin ng konti. Ayan. So, suppose that you are asked to find the number of diagonals um, that the pentagon have. That is two endpoints out of five endpoints. So, ito yung ating given na diagonal. We have diagonal A, B, C, D, E. Or we have, I'm sorry, the pentagon A, B, C, D, E. And there are two endpoints out of five endpoints. ba? Meron tayong, ang kailangan lang natin ay kumuha ng number na ang diagonals out of um, dun sa ating mga endpoints. So, para makuha natin yung diagonals, sabi nga kailangan meron tayong two endpoints. Ayan. So, batiin din muna natin sila, Mercedita Mercado from SDO Cavite. 
Iris A. Peralta Tipolo National High School at from SDO Calamba City si Medeline Aguilon. Maganda hapon. Okay, so let us continue. On this given, we can say that or we can see that AC is the same as CA. In the same manner that EC is the same as CE, that is another illustration of combination. The other diagonals are AD, BE, and BD. Thus, there are five combinations. So how can we find the number of combinations more systematically? Consider this. If order of the letters is important, then we have the following possibilities. We can have AC or AC and CA, the segment AC and the segment CA, or the segment AD and the segment DA, segment BD or the segment DB, segment EB or the segment BE, and segment EC or, or the segment CE. The number of different orders of five vertices taken to at a time is given by the permutation formula. So, ano ba permutation formula natin? So, let us have this. The permutation for five taken to is equal to five factorial divided by five minus two factorial, which is, what's the answer? Sabi dyan, nakalagay dyan, there are 20 ways or the 20 possibilities. Good afternoon, Min Bukal, Balioso, at si Yan Yan Samonte, watching from Castor Albiar National High School. God bless and keep safe to all. Maraming salamat. Okay, so sabi dyan, pinakita natin kanina, um, there are the number of different orders of five vertices taken to at a time, given by the permutation of five taken to, is equal to five factorial, divided by quantity five minus two factorial. If you will uh, simplify the given um, operation or the perform the indicated operation, the answer will be 20. Therefore, there are 20 possibilities. Since in our lessons in geometry, we can name line segments um, using letters in order. Then if we look closely, we can actually um, we can actually or we can see that the line segments or the column are identical. Thus, the actual combination is kapag daw ang combination natin is C is equal to or um, combination of 5 taken 2 is equal to 20 divided by 2 or um, permutation of 5 taken 2 divided by 2. Bakit po? Dahil nga, sabi nga kanina, there are only 2 um, given on our um, pentagon. Di ba? Kung mapapansin niyo yung isa doon, identical na. So, ibig sabihin, mapapakita natin ang combination na sa dalawa lang natin i-divide yun sa 2 factorial. or so, This can be denoted by permutation of 5 taken 2 divided by 2 factorial or permutation of 5 taken 2 divided by 2. Kasi nga, 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Good day, watching from Gutad National High School, STO Pampanga, si Cheryl Rivera Reyes. Magandang hapon. Okay, so on our given combination, the formula is yung permutation muna natin, i-divide natin sa identical na segments na meron tayo sa ating pentagon. That's why we have 20 divided by 2. Notice that 2 or 2 factorial is the number of ways of arrange, arranging two objects taken all at a time. We divided by 2 to eliminate the duplicates. Dahil nga may identical tayong dalawa doon, um, doon natin dinibide ngayon yung 2. Okay, now let us start. Uh, let us continue, I mean. Notice that 2 or 2 factorial is the number of ways arranging two objects taken at all times. So note that there are actually, let us um, try this one. Note that there are five objects, the A, B, C, D, E, which are our um, vertices, and they are selected two at a time. So on that, we will have R is equal to two. All, and so the equation becomes the combination of N taken R is equal to P, or the permutation of N taken R, divided by R factorial. R there is the given. Take note, ah, yung, yung kinuha doon. Na kukunin na end points dahil ang kailangan natin ay makadetermine ng ating diagonals. And remember that a diagonal is also a segment and a segment has two end points. Kaya naman yung R natin ay naging two. Okay, yeah? So sana na unawaan po yun, ha? So, uh, watching Good Afternoon from Tacloban City Night High School together with my great and learners, si Ma'am Maria Wilma Pulga. Maganda hapon at maraming salamat po sa pagpapa, sa pagpapromote at sa pag uh, i-invite sa inyo mga great and learners para po manood ng ating ito lay dapat online tutorial. Okay, let us continue. Since our permutation of n taken r is equal to the n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, then the combination or the combination of n taken r will be equivalent to permutation of n taken r divided by divided by I mean r factorial. So, ito na yung magiging formula or magiging solution natin. Uh, as we substitute the given, 
let us uh, maximize again our um, given. As we substitute the given to our formula, we can now have um, n factorial or the, the combination is equal to n factorial or the permutation of n taken r divided by r factorial. And then, mangyayari natin dyan, diba? Sabi, n, n divided by n minus r factorial is equal to r factorial. And for that, cross multiplication getting, diba, yung ating, um, um, ating numerator times numerator, denominator, denominator times denominator. To simplify the formula, the formula for the combination will become n factorial is equal to or divided by r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. Good afternoon then, kila Jolin Bakay watching from Taal High School. At um, Janiel Ann Maliari, 10 Emerald from ANHS. And Skeraki Castillo, good afternoon. So let us continue. So remember, on this given, on our combination, remember the combination of n objects taken at a time is the combination is equal to n factorial divided by the r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial, wherein n um, is, should be greater than or equal to r, and r should be greater than or equal to zero. So dapat yung r natin, yung taken natin, or yung kinukuha natin ay hindi din uh, dapat mas mataas siya sa zero, hindi ba o ba sa zero. Good afternoon, Harry Del Rosario, watching from Taal High School. Maganda hapon. So now, let us have example number one. In how many ways can you form a group of um, five members out of 25 students? In how many ways can you form a group of five members out of 25 students? So that is, um, there is the formula on our monitor. So solution, let us represent n is equal to 25 and r is equal to 5. And our combination, of course, is unknown. So for you to solve for this given, the formula will be, sabi nga kanina, its combination of n taken r is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. So we substitute the given to our formula. So try natin i-solve dyan sa inyong mga tahanan na. Good afternoon, Joseph at Kuban, sorry, from Tipol National High School, and Jamaica Magracia from Taal National High School, and uh, John Gilbert Quinto from Tipolo, Mandawi City. Maganda hapon. So we continue or um, we substitute the given to our formula. From there, you will have 25 factorial divided by 5 factorial times the quantity 25 minus 5 factorial. So to simplify our given formula, we will have now 25 factorial all over or divided by 5 factorial times 20 factorial. And then we try to simplify the given. Expand natin by the factorial um, connotation or factorial method. You will have now 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 times 21 times 20 factorial. Then may 20 factorial sa baba um, para ma-eliminate natin yung 20 factorial, 20 factorial. And then matitira, um, we will have divide by 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Hi po, sabi ni Louis J. Manahon. Magandang hapon. And then from there, if you will eliminate everything uh, as you um, simplify the given equation, matitira na lang is 5 times 23 times 22 times 21. Bakit nawala yung 20 factorial sa, sa numerator at denominator? Because 20 factorial and 20 factorial is already equivalent to 1. And that is, um, that is um, absolutely can be eliminated. And pa paano naman nawala, sir, yung iba pang 24, 23, um, and 22, and 21? So basically, um, I'm sorry, ba paano naman po nawala yung 25, sir? Kasi, di ba, as, as 5 times 4, dinibay natin, that is 20. Uh, 20 times 3, that is 60. And then 60 times 2, that's 120. And 25 times um, 25 times 24 is equivalent to 120. That's why na eliminate narin yung 120. And for that, um, the possible ways or the combination of 25 taken R is equal to 53,130 different ways. Nakuha ba ang ating example number one? Ayan na. So madali lang sa sundan, di ba? As long as you now uh, you know how to substitute the given to the formula. Basically, napakadaling lang po nating masunod dito. Okay, so good afternoon, Jeremy Bracero, Tipolo National High School, and Shaina K. Pasyenda, Tipolo National High School. Sabi ni Louis J. Manahon, pwede po sumali, pwede naman mag-join, magsulat ka lang ng, uh, ng sagot mo sa ating comment section. At good afternoon, Raymond Amatorio from Taal High School, Nakisa Kiambao, 10 Diamond from Gutad National High School, and Elwina Chidoro, 10 Diamond from Gutad National High School. Magandang hapon. Now, let us continue. Let's have example. Number two. Alright, let us try to um answer 
activity number three, the combination of N and R. So let us have um, the paper and marker para makita ninyo ang solution. Let's have this one, ha? Okay. So how are we going to solve this one? Sabi natin kanina, ang ating uh, formula, let us try number one muna. Ang ating formula ay combination is equal to uh, Anong formula natin? Balikan natin ang formula. Combination is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. Sulat ko lang ha, para mas matandaan. Okay. So the formula is um, combination is equal to n factorial is equal to um, R factorial times the quantity, uh, I mean, sorry, C is equal to N factorial divided by R times the quantity N minus 1 factorial. Red Maris Degamo uh, from Tipol National High School, Elwina Chedoro, uh, hi Paul, hi Jan, Rol, Jan Raul Asenho from TNHS, Keisha Degal, Justin Lee Madi, at sila um, Grace and Malit, Lansangan Malit, magandang hapon. Okay, now let us try to solve number 1. Sabi, um, combination of um, 8 taken 5. So how are we going to solve for that? Combination of 8 taken 5. So on that given, if our formula is a combination of n factorial divided by r factorial times quantity n minus 1 factorial, so we will have the combination of 8 taken 5. So we will substitute the given to our formula. You will now have C is equal to 8 factorial times 5 factorial times the quantity 8 minus 5 factorial. Carl Joshua Velasquez, magandang hapon. Jan Eric Garcia, magandang hapon din. Uh, from Gutad National High School and from Tipolo National High School, magandang hapon. So we will have here C or the combination of 8 taken 5. We will have now the formula combination is equal to 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial times the quantity 8 minus 5 factorial. Sige nga daw, sagutan natin mga great learners. Sabi ni Louis, sir, ba't di ko po makita? Ito, nakikita na ba, Louis? Ria Lea Danan, the boo from 10 Diamond of Gutal, Gutad National High School. Okay, so let us try this one. Brian Tasan from St. Dominic, Tipolo National High School. Magandang hapon din. So, solve nyo nga daw po to. Okay, let us uh, try to answer this one. So you will have now 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial then 5 factorial times 3 factorial. So to simplify our problem, we will have ayan, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial times the quantity 3 factorial. Okay? And then, syempre, dahil ayan ang given natin, sabi ni Kate, nasagot siya, 56. Um, Justin Lee Madi from GNHS Pampanga. Magandang hapon. And si Jenny Lenorias from Tipolo National High School. Good afternoon then. So, we just simply um, eliminate this one. So, matitira sa ating formula, if you will uh, notice, you will have now, combination is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 divided by 3 times 2. Okay. Sinasolve ko lang dito ha. So, ang sagot ninyo ay 56. Good afternoon, um, General Paharilia. If your answer is 56, that is correct. So, we simply have 8 times 7 times 6 and then divide by 3 times 2. Since 3 times 2 is 6, may eliminate na rin yung 6 sa numerator at yung 3 times 2 sa denominator. Matitira na lang is combination of 8 times 7. And for that, our combination is equal to 56. Correct. Very good. Adrian Matthew Rosal from Tipol National High School at si General Paharilia nga from Taal High School. And Rehane Mabuang um, from Tipol National High School. Now, let us try to answer example number 2, mga great and learners. Sagutan nyo nga daw example number 2. Try natin. I'm giving you um uh, one minute to answer that. Try nyo nga daw, Joseph Ectuban, Ectuban from um, St. Thomas 
the Paul National High School. So our given, for example, number two is combination of 10, 10 sorry, 10 taken 8. Combination of 10 taken 8. So the formula, Sheena Sabana Martus from Tipolo National High School. So the formula of combination, again, is the combination is equal to n factorial divided by n or r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. So the key to for us to solve this given combination is to simply substitute the given to our formula. Haji Harayo the second, maganda hapon. Sabi ni Kate, 45. Very good si Kate, ha? Talaga nag-solve si Kate. So, let us have 8 factorial and um, 10 minus 8. So, ito siya. Magiging 10 factorial is equal to um, 8. I um, mean, sorry. Combination of 10 taken 8 is equal to 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial times the quantity 10 minus 8 factorial. Ang sagot ni Hayes Sarceda is 45. Si Jamaica Nepa from Tepolo National High School. Ganyan din ang sagot ni Rocky Castillo, 45. Let us check. You will have now 10 times 9 times 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial times 2 factorial. So you will have here 10 times 9 divided by 2. Okay, so let us check this one. Kung tama ba ang sagot ng 45? Sumagot sila, Aline Maglinte from Taal High School and Cassandra Amabo from Taal High School. So, magiging, nakikita ba? Ayan. Ayan. 10 times 9 times 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial um, times uh, 2 factorial. You will have now 10 times 9 divided by 2. 90 divided by 2. The answer is 45. If your answer is 45, meaning you are correct. Okay, very good. Now, let's have... Example number three, our combination of seven taken four. Sabi, combination of seven taken four. Stephanie Ducot from GNHS Pampanga, Cassandra Amabo from Tipol National High School. Magandang magandang hapon sa lahat ng mga grade 10 learners nating nanonood ngayon sa atin. So our combination or our third example is combination of seven taken four. Can you solve for this one? Tingnan nga natin kung makakasagot. Sulat lamang yung sagot sa ating comment section. And by the way guys, ha, do not forget to subscribe our official YouTube channel, ang DepEd TV Educational Technology Unit at DepEd Philippines para naman siguradong mapanood ninyo ang mga replay natin doon. So, iaayos ang lahat ng mga um, live natin ng ating DepEd online tutorial doon at maaari ninyong balikan ng ating mga topics para siguradong makapag-review kayo. Okay. So now let us, have, let us answer this um, example number 3 or given number 3. Combination of 7 taken 4. Again, let us substitute the given to our formula. So for that, you will have 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial times the quantity 7 minus 4 factorial. Again, ah, to substitute the given, you will have here 7 factorial is equal to 4 or 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial times the quantity 7 minus 4 factorial. Sabi ni K, that is 35 po. Very good si Kate, ah. Check natin, ah, Kate. So, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. As we expand the factorial method, and you will have divided by seven factor, uh, 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Nakikita ba ang solution? Ayan. And then we eliminate 4 factorial. 35 din ang sagot ni Rocky Castillo, Stephanie Ducot, at ni Medeline Aguilo. Nagpapabati naman si RJ Lobado from Tipolo National High School. Pagkita na hapon. Seven times six times five times three times two times one. So you will have seven times five. The answer will become 35. If your answer is 35, you are correct. So pakita natin solution. Yan. So, we have 7 times 6 times 5 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. Um, there are both 6 in numerator and denominator. So, basically, we can eliminate 6 there. So, matitira na lang is 7 times 5. Now, the answer will become 35. Did you get the correct answer? Tama po ba ang inyong sagot? 
Very good. Correct, ha? Now, let's have example number four. Combination of nine taken two. Combination of nine taken two. Tracy Jane Cabales from Tipolo National High School. Good afternoon. Love, love, song, kog. Tama ang yung sagot na 35 sa ating example number three. Now, let's have combination of nine taken two. Using our formula, n factorial is equal to, I'm um, sorry, combination is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. We substitute again the given to our formula. Chris Brillantes from the Paul National High School is watching. Magandang hapon. So you will have now 9 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 9 minus 2 factorial. So ito na yung magiging formula. Sabi ni Kate 36. Let us check Kate kung tama yung sagot later. So as we solve, we will have the formula 9 factorial divided by 2 factorial times the quantity 9 minus 2 factorial. So let us try to um, simplify the given equation. Tama rin ang sagot ni Jamaica Magracia. Check natin kung tama yung 36 mo. So you will have here 9 times um, 7. I'm sorry, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial, divide by 2 factorial, times 7 factorial. Okay, so we can eliminate now um, 2 factorial, and yung 7 times 6 times 5, times 4 times 3 times 2. So the answer will become, that is 9 times 8, di ba? Uh, ang magiging sagot natin, 9 times 2 is 7 factorial. So, you will have to eliminate 7 times. Uh, matitira na lang is 9 times 8. So, the answer will become 72. Bakit kaya 36 ang sagot ng ating mga uh, viewers? Siguro nalito sila kasi baka nag-divide pa kayo sa 2. The answer will become 72 mga anak kasi great 10 learners. Kasi diba matitira sa atin, if you will check on this um, formula or this solution I, I made, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial, divide by 2 factorial, times 7 factorial. May eliminate na natin yung 2 factorial at yung 7 factorial by the 7, dun sa, mula sa 7 times um, 6 times 5 times 5. Ah, yeah, I, I, under, I understand now, tama. Magiging 36 lang pala yung sagot. Sorry po, nalito lang tayo ng other solution. Uh, may matitira pa nga pala tayo uh, 2 dun sa ating given kasi hanggang 3 lang yung may eliminate natin. So from there, you will still have 2 there. So 72 divided by 2, ang ating magiging sagot ay 36. So tama ang sagot nila, Kate, Jamaica, Medeline, Lini Maglinte, at ni Rocky Castillo. Correct. Thank you, thank you guys for uh, for uh, the immediate correction. Now let's have example number 5. Let us try example number 5. This will be our last example for this afternoon. That is combination. Yes. Sabi ni Floyd Delita Male, it's 36. Yes po. Tama po. Uh, Miranda ay sa po from the um, from the Polo National High School, Great and Saint Philomena. Maganda hapon. Now let's have um, combination of fifteen taken ten. What is the answer? Can you solve combination of fifteen taken ten? Trisha Joy Sakdalan, maganda hapon then. So to solve this given, we substitute the given to our formula. So you will have now fifteen factorial. Divide by 10 factorial times 15 minus 10 factorial. Johnny Lynn Colin Cruz, 10 diamond from GNHS Pampanga. Magandang hapon din. So from there, you will have 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. Divide by 10 factorial times 5 factorial. Sabi ni Kuha, um, how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Akuha uh, Konahap Kimpol? Number, yun daw ang sagot niya sa number 5, 3003. Let us check. That is 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial divided by 10 factorial times 5 factorial. Now we can eliminate our 10 factorial and then 5 times 3 times... Um, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, ang magiging sagot ay 3,003. Correct. Tama ang sagot nila Medeline uh, Malabanan Agilon. 
at ni Kate at ganun din ang sagot ni Kuhana Kunahap Kim Paul that is 3003 um basically di ba we will have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and then i-multiply lang natin 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 and we divide it by uh by the product by, of the 5 factorial so makukuha natin ang sagot ay 3003 so that is correct so kung ang sagot niya ay 3003 correct Rocky Castillo tama rin ang sagot Good afternoon, Kate Christine Ramirez, 10 Diamond from Gutad National High School, and Citricia Joy Sakdalan from Gutad National High School. Now let us try another exercises, another exercise. I mean, or another activity before we end this given. Try lang natin yung number one at yung number two. So we find the unknown in each item. If one is C taken or N taken three is equal to thirty-five, what do you think will be the value of N? How are you going to solve this combination? Kung ang nawawala naman natin ay yung N at given na yung mismong combination at given naman din yung taken R o yung R natin. So how are you going to solve for this one? Ano sa palagay ninyo ang sagot? Yung number one at number two lang ang sasagutan natin, mga grade 10 learners. So what do you think is the answer? Brian Tasa and grade 10 St. Dominic de Polo National High School. So sabi, in our combination, in our formula, C, ang sabi dyan, C is N taken 3. Diba? Sabi, And that is equal to 35. So now let us try to solve this given by the formula. So you will have n factorial is equal to 3 factorial times n minus r factorial or n minus 3 factorial is equal to 35. So ulitin natin na. Ang matitira lang ay 3 factorial. This will be our formula. Great and learners. So you will have the combination of n taken three is equal to thirty-five. Therefore, you will have n factorial is equal is equal to three factorial. Sorry, n factorial divided by three factorial times n minus r factorial is equal to thirty-five. Sabi ni Johnny Colin seven puyan. Let us check if your answer is correct. How are we going to to solve for this one? So, mula dun sa ating given, let us have our cross multiplication n factorial is equal to 3 factorial times the quantity n minus 3 factorial is equal to 35. So we, we have cross multiplication n factorial is equal to 35 times 3 factorial minus 7 minus 3 ba? Tingnan natin. So magiging ganito na siya. n factorial is equal to 35 times the quantity 3 factorial, times um, n minus 3 factorial. Now, to solve this one, sabi ni Kuhanap, 7 daw, sabi ni uh, Kate, 7 then. Let us check. So, you will have now here, 35, times, ano ba magiging sagot natin dito? Yung 3 factorial times 9. Di ba magiging ano na to? Let us solve. So, n now will become uh, 7. N will be equal to 7. Now, that is correct. Sinold natin, kung papalitan natin ng 7 yung ating N, so basically that will give you an answer of 35. Now, let us check your, let us check if 7 is really the correct answer by um, substituting 7 to our formula. So, magiging C is equal to 7 taken 3. From our formula, 7 factorial is equal to 3 factorial times 7 minus 3 factorial. You will have now 7 factorial is equal to 3 factorial times 4 factorial. From there, you will have 7 times 4, uh, sorry, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then we divide 3 times uh, 3 factorial Mawawala na dito yung ating 3 times 2 times 1. At yung ating 4 factorial will become 4 times 3 times um, 3, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And for that, you will now have the answer is 35. So tama ang ating sagot na 7 dahil nakuha natin ang 35. Ayun. Okay. Nakuha ba? May sagot na sila Rocky sa number 2. 10 daw. Si Kuhanap din. Ang sagot niya ay 10. So, Guys, uh, it's already 40 uh, minutes na tapos na ang session natin this afternoon. Pero kung ang sagot ninyo ay 10, um, very good. Tama ang yung sagot sa number 
10 will be the missing n dun or missing unknown natin dun sa ating given equation for number 2. But for now, uh, tuloy lang natin sagutan natin kung na kung na-copy ninyo ang ating mga exercises sa 3, 4, and 5. Sagutan ninyo yan sa, sa ating mga bahay para masiguradong ma-practice ninyo ang combination. I hope you understand the rule of combination and magkita-kita tayo ulit next week kasama pa rin, of course, ang inyong tutor of heal dito lamang yan sa um sa ating uh, math 10. So, basically, guys, um makakasama nyo ako every Friday sa math 3 to 20 to 3 p.m. at every Friday din sa math 10, 3.40 to 4.20 PM. So muli maraming maraming salamat sa pagsama sa akin dito. Huwag kalimutan i-like at share ang ating mga Facebook pages ng Deped Philippines, Deped TV, Deped Tayo, at ang Educational or Deped EdTech Unit. At mag-subscribe na rin sa ating official YouTube channel, ang Deped TV Official, ang ating Deped Philippines at Deped TV. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagsama. Walang aalis po ah, dahil po tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang pagkatuto ng bawat kapataang Pilipino kasama ang inyong mga senior high school tutors at ALS tutors. Paalam! See you next week! Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan sa lunes mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Itulay Free Online Tutorial Session sa Science. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine Social Media Accounts. Paalam!